Hello, it's Emily from The Leafy Stitch and in this tutorial we will be going through Splendid Serendipity round by round together and at the end of it you will have a complete square. I'm using Stylecraft Special DK in eight colours in lipstick, tomato, spice, mustard, gold, pistachio, cypress and Lincoln, all Lincoln and cypress. I'm not quite sure which ones which, I always get that confused, I should know. And I'll be using my four and a half corresponding hook because that is the size I use for my tension. You'll need some scissors and a yarn needle as well. So go grab your yarn and your hooks and the pattern will be in a link below in the description box. So grab that copy and let's get making. Okay, welcome to round one. We are using color number one, which in this case is my lipstick color. It requires a magic ring to start. If you don't know how to do a magic ring, look it up on YouTube as well, or you can chain four and join to that first chain with a slip stitch to make your own ring. So we need to make a chain four into our ring, which counts as a treble stitch. So one, two, three, and four, and then make 15 more trebles back into that ring. So yarning over twice, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I just want to let you know that I do speak and mainly use US terms and then I translate them in my patterns to UK. That's just how I learned how to do pattern writing and reading, I guess. So you can feel free to mute me if you don't want to hear me talking in US terms. Or if you don't like the sound of my accent. I mean, who doesn't like Aussie accents? <laughs> no. Okay, so I'm just plodding along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need a total of 16. And the reason why I've done 16 is because I obviously turn this circle into a square eventually. And mathematically wise, mathematical wise, mathematically, yeah. I'm a maths person, not a word person. Um, 16 is divisible by four evenly. <laughs> so, because there are four sides in a square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Emily, you're talking too much. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now I will recommend triple checking your stitch count because you'd rather know now than in a few rounds that you've actually done something wrong. Check it after each round. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Beautiful. Now we are using this colour for the next round. So join to that fourth chain with a slip stitch. And then we are going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. I'll just grab some more yarn. Okay, and in each stitch we are going to make a single crochet and a chain one. Boink. That is the increase of this round. So single when you can and a chain one all the way around. Da, da, da. So that increases our circle and does not let the pattern start to cup up. Around. Now, one of the other things I will recommend is sussing out how to do invisible joins and standing stitches. The reason why I say this, and I actually probably said in a lot of my videos lately, is because it is such a great skill to have. And I use a lot of color in my patterns, so the yarn that you use is, um, is not necessarily the same for each round. So except for the consecutive rounds. So invisible stitches, uh, standing stitches and invisible joins, I highly recommend because then you can't really see, you don't like have a prominent chain two, chain three join going up. Okay, so I'll pop the link in the description box below for those two videos as well. You can see it quickly here while I finish this round off. So, 
Now we've already got the top of that bead so I'm going into the chain one space under the two front and back loop. Do, do, do. You normally use a, an invisible join to create that top V of a stitch. So we'll go down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about weaving in ends just yet. So that's our little piece at the end of round two. 16 trebles in round one, 16 single crochets and 16 chain one spaces. So round number three, we are using colour number two. And because I am using a popcorn, which I classify as like a special stitch, it's not like a normal treble or a single or a double, etc. I'm going to put a slip knot on my hook for my standing stitch as I need it for the other stitches to anchor to. So put a slip knot on your hook. Do you need me to zoom in a smidge more? There we go. Okay, so this pattern is worked or this round is worked in to a chain one space. So find any chain one space and we're going to make a standing popcorn. So basically it's just like a popcorn, but you've got nothing prior being worked. So you're going to make five DCs into that chain one space. Like so. Gonna pinch your work, making sure that this, like you literally cannot pull that. Drop your loop, eep. Insert your hook into the first stitch under the front and back loops. This is why we needed that slip knot on the hook because if we didn't have it, we couldn't put it, there would be nothing there. Pick up your drop loop and just pull through. We're going to chain two and then we are going to work a front post treble, or no, sorry, a front post double stitch around the next treble from round one. So we're going to go around here. So the next one is this one just here. So literally you've got your chain one space above that treble. We're going to work into the next treble with a double, front post double. Yarn over once, insert from front to back to front, pull up your your, loop, your loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to chain two and then working into that next chain one space, skipping the stitch that is worked into the next treble, making our popcorn again. So five double crochets, do, 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 do. three, four and five, pinching, dropping, putting our hook through the first, picking up our dropped loop and pulling through, chaining two, making a front post double around the next treble, yarn over, Insert from front to back to front, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chaining twice. So that is this repeat. So popcorn in chain one, a front post double in the next, tre or around the next treble, chaining two, skipping that single. So the popcorns are worked in each second single and you do a front post double around every second treble. I'm going to zip around. I'll be back in a second. Feel free to pause the video and we'll continue. Okie dokie, I'm just making the last front post double. So you can see how I finish off this round with, a, with an invisible join around the popcorn. So I've chained my two. I'm gonna give myself a nice little tail. Pull that yarn through. Feed it onto your yarn needle. So we're going to work, come up a little bit closer. So that is our closing stitch just here. There is our first chain and there is our second chain. So I'm just going to go under the both, the top and the, or the front and the back loops. Still got that other side of the chain on there. Oh, I can't fiddle fiddle. So there we go. And then with these, I kind of just go through the popcorn, try not to pick up any stitches on the front. You just make it work for you. 
then you can just do your weaving in however you like to weave in your ends. Recommend keeping all your ends in on the same uh, colour. So you can see here that I don't weave my ends in on other rounds. So the ends are... I actually can't see where my ends are with this colour. I'm trying to show you. Oh, there. So um, that's... Yeah, keeping it nice and neat. So you, your back of the work is just as neat as the front. Okay. Now, don't lose your yarn needles. So that is round number three. <laughs> we have got eight popcorns, eight front posts, double crochets, and 16 chain two spaces. So let's get making number four. Four, can't count today. So round number four begins around, excuse me, any front post double crochet from round three. We will be making a front post single crochet. So because this round is only worked with the one color, I'm not putting a loop on my hook. So for a standing single, you technically don't need to yarn over, but um, so <laughs> insert your hook from front to back to front again yarn over pull up a loop and then you're just going to yarn over and pull through it's kind of like a slip stitch technically then we are going to work into this chain two space we're going to make two single crochets one and then two and then we're going to make a front post double crochet around the popcorn stitch so you can see that there is an, an obvious chain two space on either side so we're yarning over, we're going to insert our hook into the first chain two space and bring our hook back out in the next chain two space. Essentially going the whole way around the popcorn. So yarn over and pull up your loop, then you're going to yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you can see that the popcorn stitch has been worked around entirely. Sorry, I head butted the stand. Okay, coming back down, we're going to work two single crochets into that chain two space one two and that's our repeat so front post single two singles front post double and two singles so we're going to go around again insert from front to back to front again pull up a loop yarn over pull through two two single crochets into that chain two space and then we've got a front post double so yarn over around the popcorn insert the first chain two bring out your hook in the next chain two pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And coming back down, we've just got our last two single crochets. So that's it there. I'm going to go around. I'll come back to you in a second. See you in a minute. And I'm back. I should say, if you are wanting to do joins with slip stitches, you can. I just recommend if you're going to choose that option to have a standing, um, sorry, a slip knot on your hook to begin with. So you don't want to do an invisible join that's okay um, I'm just doing an invisible join on this round come here come here so with this one see how it has no prominent V on the top there we're going to create that so always into the second stitch come back down to where the tail of the yarn comes from and then just tuck it in giving it a nice look so that it looks like all your other stitches like so. Don't weave that in just yet. So that is round number four completed. In this round we have eight front post single crochets, 16, no Emily, that's the other one. So eight front post singles, 32 normal singles and eight front post double crochets. So welcome to round number five, where we are making, here's one I prepared earlier. We're going to be working with the gold color. So I'm using two colors consecutively. So therefore I will have a slip knot on my hook. Okay. Make your slip knot however you like to. It's funny, sometimes you forget how to do the obvious things. Like you just have a break for a while with making slip knots and you can't do it. At the moment, I, I can remember, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, so round number five will begin in any front post single crochet. 
so that's the ones made over the front post doubles. We're going to make a standing double crochet, chain three and a double crochet in the same stitch. So yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to chain our three and then double crochet back into that stitch like so. Going to make a chain one. And then we're going to work a front post single around the front post double, skipping our two singles. So essentially this round is only worked into the front post stitches. So make your front post single, chaining one, that's the, that's the entire repeat, which we're going to, do, going to do all the way around. Okay, so double into the front post single, chaining three, bum, bum, bum and a DC back into that stitch. Chaining one, front post single, around the front post double, like so, chaining one, and so forth. I'm going to work this around. I'll come back to you when I'm at the start and we can finish this round and then work on the next. Okay, I'm back now and I've done the last chain of this repeat. I'm going to join into the first stitch, the first double, with a slip stitch because I'm using this colour for the next round. So that round consists of eight front post double crochet, no, nope, single crochets. Oh my goodness, I'm really having a bad time with words today. 16 chain one spaces, 16 double crochets, and eight chain three spaces. So we're going to work round number six using gold still. Now this round is worked into our chain three spaces and around the front post single. So we're going to make a slip stitch into that first chain three space. Then we're gonna make a beginning double cluster. So we're chaining, I think I said three in the stitches terminology. I would chain two depending on the height of your stitch that you like. So we'll pretend I said chain three because I can't remember because I don't have that in front of me. We're going to yarn over and pull up a loop and pull through two and then yarn over, pull through two. And that will classify as our first double crochet cluster. Going to chain one and then we're going to do another double cluster in the same stitch or same space. Yarn over once, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You're going to have two loops on your hook. We're going to do it again. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now you've got the three, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three. Chaining one, and we're gonna do one more cluster into that same chain three space. So we are going to have three clusters separated by chain one space either side in the middle. After that, we're going to chain two. We're going to skip the stitch and the chain space and make a front post single around the front post single. Easy peasy. Chaining two again. Skip the chain and the double and we're going to make our three clusters with the chain one in between. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two with our two stitches on the hook. Two loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Chaining one, the same thing again around. And chaining two and coming back down to make your front post single around the front post single. Chaining two and you're back to the start of the repeat. So continue that around. I'll be back in a second and we will join the end of this round off. Okie dokie, welcome back. I've just done an invisible join on this one and we have a total of 24 double clusters, 16 chain one spaces and 16 chain two spaces with our eight front post single crochets. Now we're going to go and work round number seven. Okay, so round number seven uses colour number five pistachio, no, mustard, yes, 
and um, we're going to be working around some double crochets from the previous from round number four five and to do that grab your yarn now because I'm only using it again on the one round I'm not putting a knot on my hook so yarning over twice we're going to be working around the double crochet to the side of the front post and the other side of the front post stitch so we're going to make that together do you want to see what it looks like we're going to be making this stitch here okie dokie start again come into view for you yarning over twice insert from front to back to front again around that first double crochet yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two we're going to do the same thing again around the next double crochet so skipping the front post and yarning over twice insert from front to back to front again pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and to get those two stitches together we just yarn over and pull through those two and there we have our little front post treble two together stitch yay pretty okay so the next part after that is we're going to make a double crochet into that chain two space just in there so one of those and then we're going to make a double into the next stitch like so a double into the chain one space and then we're going to work three doubles into that middle cluster one two and three do the same thing coming back down again double into that chain one space a double into the cluster and one double into that chain two space that is what our repeat looks like. So we're gonna go through it again with you. This time we've got the yarn or the loop on the hook. So yarning over twice, insert around that double crochet. You pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Same thing again around the next double crochet. Like so, and then we're gonna pull through all three. Think. Then double crochet into that chain two space, double crochet into that stitch. Just split the fly there, try not to do that. Then double crochet into the next chain space and three doubles into the next one. The next stitch I should say. Two and three. Coming back down, we're going to make a double into the chain one space, a double into the cluster, and then a double into the chain two space. So work that around. I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, I'm just making the final front post treble two together stitch. I love the look that this these uh, stitches create the texture is pretty keep moving my forearms and I don't know where the best viewing for you is try to keep it in the middle of the screen three double crochets in the middle cluster one in the chain one one in the next cluster and one in that final chain two space also pretty nice tail Snip. pull through now I'm creating the top V of our treble two together cluster it's a bit missing isn't it you can see it clearly here you can't see it here <laughs> Let's create it so it feels like the other stitches. Okay. Oh. Alrighties then. Ta-da! Just going to weave that in a little. Not too, too much at the moment. And we 
ends. Um, it's entirely up to you if you want to weave in your ends as you go. Um, when I first designed this, I didn't because I didn't know if I was going to be frogging it continuously or for blocking purposes. Now, I did block my two squares that I have completed already here, only to see how they would sit. You technically don't need to when you're making the complete blanket as you'll be joining all the squares together, but if that's what you prefer to do, that's fine. You can do that. So that is our round number seven completed. It's getting bigger now. It doesn't fit in my hand as much. So we've got eight front post treble two togethers and 72 double crochets. So we're going to get on with round numbers. Number eight. Oh dear, I can't count. Okay. Okay, so round number eight uses color number six pistachio for this pattern. And we are doing front post half double crochets and back post half double crochets. Easy peasy. All right, so to begin one color on this round, so I'm going to be making a front post half double crochet. So yarn over once and this this front post half double crochet is worked around both stitches of our front post treble two together. So when you yarn over, insert through both of those stitches and come out the other end, yarn over, pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through two. That's because that's our standing stitch. Now we're going to make a back post half double around the next nine. So yarn over from back to front to back this time, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through three. So around all those stitches, yarn over, insert from back to front to back, pull up your loop, yarn over and pull through three. So work that around. I love the look of front post and back post stitches. It's very pretty. All right. I love that it can just pull that previous round or row up and give it a nice little ridge. So around those two. Well, not those two, but these ones. Okay, front post half double around the last double. All right, so that's what one part of the repeat looks like. So we're doing our front post half double around both of those front post treble two together stitches, yarning over and pulling up, and we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. And then back post half doubles around the next nine stitches, like so. Placement for these stitches are, is, is a bit easier than the previous round. So you don't have to think too much and double check the written pattern in your work. Okay. So that there is what one repeat looks like just there. I'm going to keep going around. I'll come back to you when we're ready to finish off and do the next round. See you in a second. Pause the video. Okay, so I'm back to the beginning, ready to do our invisible join. Nice tail. Grab your needle. Feet are on. Gonna create that lovely top V again for our front post half double. Yep. Yeah, not too tight, not too loose. Shove it through the other looking part of the stitch. <laughs> hey, you took it off. That's all right. So that is the end of round number eight. Oh, sorry, I just hit the stand. We have eight front post half double crochets and 72 back post half double crochets. And I absolutely love the texture that these stitches create together. Okay, getting too big for one hand. We'll get on to round number nine. Okay, welcome to round number nine. Yay! We're using color number seven and we're using popcorns and back post half double crochets. I will recommend a suggestion. I think I might 
don't see me as smidge anymore. Um, when you do create your back post stitches and you know that you have more back post stitches to do on the consecutive round, don't weave in your ends because when you become when you come to those parts where you have your ends woven in, they're sometimes a little bit trickier to actually work those stitches. So if you know that you've got two rounds of back post stitches or more, uh, don't weave your, your ends in until you've finished all those rounds. Okay, so we're going to make a standing popcorn stitch. So I'm putting a slip knot eventually on my on my hook. Dink. So our popcorn will go into our front post half double. So same as in round three. So five double crochets into the same stitch. Three, eight, it's not three, there we go. Four and five. Pinching, dropping, inserting, picking up, drop loop, pull through. Chaining one this time. And now we're going to make a back post half double around the next nine back post half doubles. Yeah, and so this is the part where I've woven my ends in. So it might be a little tricky. Sometimes you just kind of got to shove your hook in a little bit harder. <laughs> okay, so from back to front to back again. See, it's kind of got to go through my ends. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Same thing again. <laughs> Take my advice and don't weave your ends in when you have multiple rounds of back post stitches. Okay, getting through those tails now, so it's a bit easier, like so. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, two more, like so. Then we're going to chain one, and we're going to repeat the repeat. So a popcorn into that front post half double with your five double crochets into the one stitch, four and hey, five. <laughs> Obviously this last stitch does not want to be made. I'm in. All right. Inserting into the first stitch, pick up your drop loop and pull through chaining one. Make your nine back post half doubles around the next nine or one stitch around the next nine, not nine around the next nine. I don't think that'd be physically possible. Okay, like so. So this here is creating a nice ridge with that pistachio colour. Pistachio, pistachio. I would normally say pistachio, so I don't know why I said pistachio. Like tomato, tomato, potato, potato. And there we are at the start of the repeat again. So we've got your popcorn in the front post half double and then chaining one. And then your nine back post half doubles and your chain one. Continue that around and I'll be back with you when we get to here. Okay, just finishing off the end of this round with my back post half double crochets. All right, lucky last one. So the last one may be a little bit tricky to get into because of the popcorn, but you just make it work. Chain one, you do your nice Invisible join or whatever join you like. So pretty. I love what the stitches can all create when they're made together. Little works of art they are. Okay, and now you can weave in your ends because I don't have any front post or back ball. I don't have any back post stitches in the next round. So be confident that you can weave your ends in now, however you like to. Do, do, do. 
I'm just going to go back under the same colour, just the back couple of loops, like so. Never pull too tight, always give it a little tug because you don't want it gaping on the front side. And it look a little bit odd, you know. And mem remember to split your ply. And what I mean by split your ply, it might get a bit dark up here near the camera. Okay, so this is our ply, right? If we want to split it, we'll put our yarn needle, wait for it, through some of that ply. So that's what I say when I say split that ply because that is locking it in. And then you do it again, that locks it in in itself and technically shouldn't come undone, hopefully. Okay. Ta -da. Don't you love a good sharp scissors snip sound? I do. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. Okay, so that is round number nine using colour seven complete. We've got eight popcorns, 16 chain one spaces, and then 72 back post half double crochets. I'm going to need a big hand, aren't I? Okay, let's get ready to start round number 10. Okay, we're back to do round number 10 with our colour number eight, pretty colour. Now I'm using this colour for round number 11 as well. So we're putting a slip knot on our hook. Bing! Okie dokie. So we're going to be making some single crochets and puffs in this round with some chain one spaces or, and chain two spaces. Um, so to begin, we're making a single crochet into any popcorn. So when I say single crochet into a popcorn, I mean we're coming down into that hole there that's formed by all the stitches coming around and you're just going to shove your needle, I mean your hook, <laughs> shove, insert, that sounds a bit nicer, down into that popcorn stitch and back out the back with uh, pull up your yarn and pull through two loops. So that's our single crochet in the popcorn stitch. We're going to chain two. We're going to skip the first back post half double crochet and we're going to make a puff in the next one. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, giving that a nice little tug so that you're not so tight down there. And again, two more times, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, a little bit of a tug. And the last time, a bit of a tug. So now we have seven loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through six because I like to finish my puff stitches with the loop on top of my stitch, not to the side. Then we're going to chain one. Okay, my yarn's gone really thin here. Weird. We're going to skip one stitch and we're going to insert into the next stitch and we're going to do a puff again, making sure that we bring our, our hook up afterwards every time to make pulling through those six loops nice and easy. Interesting. So once again, chaining one, skipping one. Then we are going to do our puff again. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, tug. Insert, yarn over, etc. Seven on there, yarn over, pull through six. And then yarn over, pull through two. So last one, chain one, skip one. Inserting into that second last stitch. I used to not like pop uh, puffs because I couldn't ever pull my yarn through, my hook through, because I'd always do them really tight. So giving them that tug is like a little essential part of the step, creating a nice little puff. Okay, so instead of chaining one, we're going to chain two and begin the repeat again with that single crochet into that popcorn stitch. There we go. Chaining two, skipping the first stitch, puff into that next stitch. Nice little tug after every yarn over and pull up a loops. Yarn over, pull through six, yarn over, pull through two. Chaining one, skipping stitch, puff into the next, like so. 
and chain one, skipping, insert into the next. So one more time, chain one, skip one, puff into the next, giving it that nice tug to make it easy to complete. And chain two. So that is our little repeat we're going to do a round and I'll come back and see you at the end because we're using this colour for the next round. So we have finished with our chain two. We're just going to join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet made. Wink, like so. And now that is round number 10 complete. So we have eight single crochets followed by 32 puffs. 16 chain two spaces and 24 chain one spaces. Okay, so now we're ready to do round number 11. So what we're going to do is chain one and we're going to make a front post half double crochet around the single crochet from round 10, like so. And then two double crochets into the chain two space and then it's just a double crochet into the puff and then one double crochet into the stitch I mean chain stitch chain space and then double crochet into the stitch Double crochet into the chain space and again back into the stitch and one more in the chain space and then a double crochet into the puff. Finishing off with two double crochets worked into that last chain two space and now you're back to the start of the repeat. So you'll front post half double, so yarn over, insert from front to back to front, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Then you just work that all the way around, two double crochets into the first and last chain two space and a double crochet into the stitch and chain space between the puffs. So go around and do that. <clears throat> And I will see you in a bit. Cut your tail. And you can just do your invisible join. Like so. And I won't weave it in just yet. And there you have round number 11. We've got eight front post half double crochets and 88 double crochets. So get your yarn, which is color number seven for round number 12. Okay, all right, let's do this. So to begin we're going to make a front post double crochet around all the stitches in the popcorn. So I'm going to come right up, excuse the lighting. So when we do this I'm yarning over and I'm going to come through here for all stitches because that'll get all the stitches I just worked into the popcorn. So into the chain two space and coming out of the chain two space from round 10. Okay. So we're doing that to begin with. So I've yarned over once. Now to do our, our standing uh, double crochets, I always chain that extra one to get to that height because that creates the other part of the double crochet. Okay, so I've done our front post double crochet. So now we're going to make a single into the next stitch. I might zoom in a bit on this one. Yeah. Don't move, stay right there. So a single into the first double and then two singles into the next stitch. So we're going to do that around. So single into one, 
two singles into the next. Single into one, two singles into the next. Single, two singles. Okay, two singles and one. So you always want to start, always want to start with one single and end with one single. Making your front post double crochet around all those stitches from all the rounds. <laughs> so all the ones worked into that popcorn. So we've done our front post double. Now we're working our repeat again. Dink. One single crochet, two single crochets, one single, two singles. Now I do this because as you can sort of see, which I probably should have said in the previous round, that it kind of half cups up a bit at the end of round 11. So we're just flattening that out with this round. Hence the increased stitches in every second stitch up here. Where am I? There I am. Okay. Do, 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 do. And now we're back to the start of the repeat with that. So I'm going to work that around and I'll join you in a second. I'm back. I haven't finished, but I just thought of something I should let you know. Don't crochet these stitches too tightly because on the next round, we're going to be working into the third loop. So keep that in mind. If you are a tight crocheter, it might be worth going up half a hook size if you feel more comfortable to do that. If not, just back that tension hand off a bit and just have a softer, more softer uh, crochet technique. I don't know what you call it. Just don't be like, I've got to get it done. Just back off a little bit and just be a little bit softer just so that you've got that third loop making it a little bit easier to crochet into on round number 13 where we start to square it up. Oh my gosh, so exciting. So a nice loose, looser tension and looser technique so that it's not because when you do it too tight, it, it will be hard to get into those third loops. Okay, I'll see you back in a second. So at the end of round number 12, you've got eight front post double crochets and 128 singles. So we, are, we start to square it up now. Super exciting. Let me just add there that I think at the end of this round, I still want to zoom out far enough that this kind of reminds me like of an old school frame that you see in a gallery. I don't know what it is, but anyhow. Okie dokie doodle done because I have a consecutive colours or consecutive rounds using this colour. There is my slip knot. Back to focusing in a little bit more. I have a really good setup at the moment. I'm loving how I can film. I've got my iPad to the to the left, which is showing what I'm my camera is filming. So I control it all by my iPad who is for someone not being tech savvy, it's, it's exciting. Okay, so we're going to begin, where are we? In any front post double crochet, let's, let's do this one. We're going to make a double crochet into the double crochet. Now, the only time we don't work into the third loops of this round is when we are working into that front post double crochet. So we're going to double crochet that chaining four with the block and a, another double crochet into that same stitch like so. This is where the fun begins. So we're going to skip two single crochets and then we're going to make a single crochet into the third loop of the next 13 stitches. Now sometimes it might, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Ooh. Sometimes it might be a little bit hard to find that third loop to begin with. I mean, you know, some some plies kind of look like they join into the other parts of the yarn, but you'll get the hang of it. So skipping two 
finding that third loop however you like to do it and you're going to work a single crochet into it. Don't do these single crochets too tight either. So you're kind of folding your work just over your fingers a bit to get so you can actually push down and get into that third loop. So we're doing 13, that's two. You will get the hang of it. Three. This round is slow, I warn you, this round is slow compared to the other rounds because the third loop is, is quite fiddly compared to just working in the normal underneath front and back loops. Once we have done our 13, oopsie daisy, I'm trying to watch the screen so I can make sure that I'm still in the middle of the screen or at least some of your screen. Okay, so then we go here. So you do get that feel. So you, you kind of push that back loop down so that you can get underneath that third loop. Sometimes that happens, you see that? If you don't like that, just go back and start again. So what are we at? Not quite there yet, I don't think. <laughs> this round is fiddly. Okay, so I believe that we only have one stitch remaining at the end of this unworked one for our other stitch. So let's count that up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yay! So in the next stitch we're going to make a half double into that third loop as well. So we're kind of beginning of the squaring it up part like that. And then we're going to make a front post half double around that front post double, like so. So the only times we don't work into the third loop is when we make our double crochets or our front post double crochets. Okay, so that is kind of the, the first uh, half of this repeat. So we've got to come back down. So we're going to make a half double crochet into the third loop of the next stitch like so and then coming back around we're going to do 13 single crochets in the back loop that should leave two unworked stitches at the end two. so this is why I recommended not doing such a tight stitch in the next or in the previous round not the next round one two three four five six because it really helps seven eight find that third loop nine pushing that down and pushing up eight come back here ten now if that does happen and you get a little bit of a, a ply sticking up just give your front loop a pull and then it should settle back down once you just give it a bit of a wiggle jiggle around. Then this one, one, two, so we've got two to go and then we'll double check. Always check your stitch count, especially on this round because this is the start of squaring it up. You don't want to go wrong here because it'll stuff up further rounds. Okay, so that's our front post half double. Oh, ow, a half double. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yippee! So now we're back to the beginning of the repeat where we will make our double crochet, our chain 4, and our double crochet. So there we go. I'll just zoom back out just a smidgen. So then we make our skipping of two and then 13 singles in the back or the third loop and a half double in the next stitch or the half of the third loop. So go around and do that. I'll be back in a minute. Maybe a bit more because this round's a bit slow, but to you, it'll seem like a minute. <laughs> back in a sec. I'll give you a word of warning for this round make sure that your four points 
like your your chain four points are in the even corner spaces I did one when I was working my um, production line and I had five because I was not paying attention <laughs> so make sure you do follow carefully and have your four chain four points in the corner squares of the square okay so I've just completed the last repeat of this round so to finish we just join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch and that is if I can get it in oh sorry hit the stand that is the end of round 13 it might look a little bit funny but it's okay because this is only the beginning of squaring it up so in that round we had 104 single crochets in the third loop eight half doubles did I just hit the stand again? Sorry. <laughs> in the third loop, four front post half doubles and eight double crochets with four chain four points or chain four spaces. So we're going to begin um, round number 14. Now this round here gets a little bit, oh dear, that gets a little bit wordy, but don't be scared. We're going to work this one here and then around. It's not scary, but it's just got a lot of words. So I recommend taking your time, read it over and over again if you like, break it down. You can always mark off your stitches as you go. Okay, make sure you've got enough yarn. Okie dokie. Okay, I'll be back in one second. Okay. So we're going to start round number 14, continuing with colour number six. Now, this is wordy, I said so before, so just take your time and we'll get there together. So we're going to slip stitch into that, into the air, into the chain four space. I will zoom in a little bit more for you. So we're going to do a beginning treble three cluster, oh sorry, a beginning treble cluster. Okay, sorry about that. So we're going to chain three to begin our treble, our beginning treble cluster. So chaining three, yarning over twice, insert back into that chain four space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and you guessed it, yarn over, pull through two. Woo! Okay, we're going to chain one. And then we're going to do another cluster in here, another treble cluster. So yarn over twice, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, leaving two loops on the on the hook. So yarning over twice, insert into the chain four space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Yay! So we're going to chain three, creating our corner chain. And then we're going to work back into this chain three or chain four space with another treble cluster. So yarn over twice, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Same thing again, yarn over twice, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Going to chain one. And last treble cluster back into this chain four space, yarn over twice, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Okay, so as you can see here, when I make it so you can see it, we've got our four treble clusters separated by a chain one space and a chain three corner. Yippee! So we're going to chain one and we're going to make another treble cluster in the space between this double crochet and this single crochet. So in here, in that space there. So we've done our chain one, yarning over twice, insert into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and the next part of the treble cluster, pulling through two, pull through three. Done, done, done. So we're going to chain one and then we're going to skip four stitches. Now, keeping in mind that we have our sneaky little hidden stitch 
under here, okay? Just because it's not there doesn't mean it's not there. <laughs> so include that when you chain, uh, when you count your stitches. So skipping four, one, two, three, and four. You're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch and into the next seven. So one, two, three, four, hang on. There we go, five, six, and seven. So there should be two unwork stitches remaining. We're going to do a single crochet decrease. So just the normal way, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, keeping two loops on the hook, same thing again, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, you've now got three loops, then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch, and then because we're squaring it up, we need to have it the same on the other side. So again, another single crochet decrease, insert, pull up a loop, and insert, pull up a loop in the next stitch, yarning over and pulling through all three. Then you are going to make single crochets in the next eight stitches. One. I should learn how to count in other languages. So that's a bit more exciting. At least when you crochet, you get really good at counting to a certain number, don't you? For instance, this is eight. I get good at counting to eight. Okay. One, two, three, six, seven, and eight. We should have four unworked stitches. One, two, three, four, because we've worked into that one. We're going to chain one. Yes, that means I need to write it in my pattern to chain one. <laughs> um, so then we're going to make a treble cluster back into that space between the single and the double. Remember it's reverse from over here. So our treble cluster back in here. And then another one in here for the rest of that treble cluster. So that's that. We're going to chain one and we're going to skip that stitch and we're going to make our next treble clusters into that chain four space, four point. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Molly, but she's like meowing so much right now. It means she's outside, well, out the door, not in here. She'd want to eat the yarn if she was in here. So chaining one and making another treble cluster in this corner space. Oops, that happens to me sometimes. So we go like that. So now we've got our two. We need to make a chain three to create that pretty corner. And then bringing that down. Did you see how I did that? So that's sometimes how I will. I try to do most of my treble clusters when I can. So yarning over twice. And when you actually pull your, ho your hook, pull your hook and your yarn like that, it'll fold those loops over. So yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, same thing again. Whee, bring it down. I'll show you what it does. Pull through two, pull through three. It does not create a big fat loop under there like other places have. So it keeps all your stitches nice and secure. Okay, so a chaining one, and we're going to make another treble cluster into that same chain four space. Running over twice, there, so like so. Okay, so now we've got our four in the chain four space, chaining one, and we're back to the start of the repeat back here, but we're going to make another treble cluster in that space between the, the double and the single, like so. Chaining one and getting more yarn because I have run out. Don't roll away. So we're back to skipping those four stitches now. Hidden stitch, one, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two unworked stitches remaining before we get to that one. So we're going to 
do our single decrease again and then work a single crochet into the front post half double back around oh look I can show you now we have done a corner Ooh, exciting so our corner is obviously not square yet but it's getting there so you can see that it's it's got a little bit of work to go before we get square but it's forming so that is what our one corner looks like yay it's exciting okay so back to here we're doing our single crochet decrease in the next two stitches and then we're single crocheting eight two three four five six seven eight there should be four unworked stitches remaining as in single crochet stitches chaining one and then you're making the treble in between the single and the double Oop, I did through three loops we only need through two so there ta-da and now you're back to the start of the repeat chaining one and skipping that so work that around and I'll be back in a second I'm back again not finished yet but just wanted a little tip for you give you a little tip that each corner has six treble clusters in them so that you know if you've kind of missed one which I have done but I'm not going to find that square um, it's a good double checking system that you have your six treble clusters in each corner yes that is all I have returned so I've just completed my last single crochet in the next eight stitches. I have my four, one, two, three, four unworked singles from the previous round. I've done my chaining one, and then we've got one last treble cluster to do in the space between our single crochet and double. So I'll do that now. Ta-da, like so. Chaining one, and then we're going to join under the top loop um, front and back of the, the second part of that first cluster so insert in there with a slip stitch and that is this round completed ta-da pretty pretty so our stitch count completed after this round is 24 six fours are 24 treble clusters 16 chain one spaces four chain three spaces um 64 double cro uh, single crochets and eight single crochet decreases okay so we are going to commence round number 15 which is the last round using our pistachio color so get some more yarn this is the round that makes it nearly a good square. It's exciting. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so we are ready to begin round number 15. We're going to slip stitch into that first chain one space, like so, and we're going to make a beginning double cluster. Now I said earlier on that our double clusters had a chain three to begin with. I rechecked my pattern. It's two. So we're going to go with two chain and a double into that same space to create our beginning double cluster like so I need to make you zoomed in don't I there we go okay so we've got our first double cluster now we're going to chain one and we're going to skip that treble cluster and we're going to work into that chain three space with another double cluster so yarn over once insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and then we do it again, yarn over once, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then to finish it, we yarn over, pull through three. Chaining one again, and then we're going to do it again. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through three. Chaining three again to create that nice corner. We turn our work around. Then we're going to make two more tub, tubble, tubble, double clusters into that same chain three space. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, pull through two, and there, chaining one, and our final cluster for this part of the corner. 
like so. So I've got four in here, chaining one, skipping our clusters because we just work in the chain one spaces, making another double cluster in there. And then we're going to chain one, skipping the next cluster and make another double cluster in the next chain one space, like so. And same thing again, we're going to work into that final chain one space with a double cluster so that each side after the chain three or after a corner, one, two, three, four, five, we have five double crochet clusters. Okay, so now we're going to continue squaring it up. So I've done our clusters. Okie dokie, I'm going to find where I am in my pattern. Diddly diddly dee, there I am. So we've done this, we are going to make a double crochet into that first stitch. So not too tight, not too loose, just get it right. So double crochet there, we're not chaining after that last treble double cluster. Um, and then two half doubles or a half double into the next two stitches, I should say. Now with these, don't just do them like you willy nilly. I want you to focus because it kind of won't make it look as pretty. Oh, that didn't, that, that was okay. Um, when you do, one second, when you do your half double crochets, give some thought into squaring it up a bit. So don't pull it too tight. But the next one you do, you can kind of make a little bit more normal. So when you're squaring it up, don't just rely on the stitches as such. I know that doesn't really make sense, but it's so that there's not quite an obvious jump from single crochets to half double to doubles. Okay, take it back. So we've done our double, our two half doubles, and then we are going to make uh, 13 single crochets from memory. Yes, so single crochet in the next 13, two, three, four, five, six, I'll show you what I mean, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. That's good, we need three there. So that there is no real obvious uh, step up or step down uh, between our stitches. It's kind of like a nice even straight line. Okay, so we're mirror imaging this again. So we've got our two one work stitches. We're going to make a half double crochet in the next two. So the same thing applies on this side, but we're pulling up the stitch a bit. So obviously this stitch is a little bit lower than this stitch. So we kind of want to make that one a little bit looser than the first half double crochet as you would normal giving it that nice, you can see the transition in stitches there. Okay, so if we've done our double in the last stitch, we're going to make a treble, no, 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 no a double crochet cluster um, into this space. So no chaining, double crochet cluster. There we go. Chaining one, skipping that treble cluster. So just remember the clusters are made in the chain spaces. So like so, chaining one, skipping the stitch, cluster in the chain one space. And now we're ready to do our corner in the corner. So which is a double crochet, chain one, as in double crochet cluster, okay? Double crochet cluster, hey, 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 come back here. And then chaining three to create that nice corner, coming back around and our double cluster in here, chaining one and our last double cluster in the chain three corner, I did it again. Okay, so remember one, two, three, four, five, either side of that chain three corner, you want, oops, sorry, hit the head. You want to have five double crochet clusters either side. Now we're chaining one because we need to skip that treble cluster, making a double cluster in the next chain one space. Sometimes it's like I speak a different language when I speak in crochet terms. Uh, chain one, skip that clusher, clusher. Oh my gosh, see what I mean? 
um, skip that cluster and make a double crochet cluster in the next chain one space. Same thing again, chain one, skip one, double crochet cluster in the next stitch. And now we're back to squaring it up with the rest of these stitches. And I've got a good little thing I can show you right here. So you can see the real definition of, of how we've squared it up compared to, uh, we'll flip it around, that part. So you can see, oh, I'll just zoom it out. It's probably better. See the transition of um, squaring it up. It really does square it up. So let's continue. Oh, we'll be back in a minute. Nope, wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll be back once we get down to our beginning point. And that is it for this pistachio colour and for the beginning of squaring it up. I'll see you in a second. For you a second. For me a couple minutes. So for this, we have a final stitch count for round number 15. We have 52 single crochets, 16 half double crochets, 8 doubles and 40 double clusters. Then we've got 32 chain one spaces and four of our chain three corners or chain three spaces. Okay, so now we're up to round number 16 where we're using color number five. And because I'm obviously doing it for three rounds, I've got a slip knot on my hook already. And we're going to begin in any chain three corner. I will zoom in a little bit more. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. With a standing single crochet. A chain two, whoop de doop, and another single crochet coming around the other side of that corner. And now what we're going to do is create a single crochet into every stitch and chain space. There we go. All the way along, just a stitch in each one. Making sure that you do not forget a space or a stitch like so all the way along now remembering when you get to here that there is no chain space after this cluster so straight away into that double crochet and then in each stitch along So that's basically it for this round. So single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the chain three corner, then single crochet in each stitch and chain space along. Nice and simple to begin with. Then it gets a little bit <clears throat> more in depth on the other rounds. So once again, with that double crochet, there is no chain space. So we're straight away into that uh, double cluster. Chain space, stitch, chain space, stitch, chain space, stitch, chain space, stitch. And so now we're at the back, <clears throat> back to the beginning of that repeat. So, Work your single crochet, your chaining two, and then your other single crochet back into that chain three space. Work all the way along and around, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now that we have completed all those single crochets and chain two corners all the way around, we're going to join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch, and then triple check that you've got 39 single crochets per side or a total of 156 with four chain two spaces or corners in between. Well that used all my yarn that I already had. Hmm. A little bit of a yarn eater. Okay so now we're going to move on to round 17 where we use V stitches so to create the pretty little um, space for our, our um, Oh my gosh, shells to go in. I forgot what they were called. So we're going to slip stitch into that chain two corner. And then we're going to make a beginning uh, or chain four. We'll call it chain four because that's what it says in my pattern, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And we're going to finish that V stitch with another double crochet into that same space. 
Now to begin each side, we're not going to skip a stitch. We're going to make our first V stitch in that first stitch. So our V stitch is just a double crochet, a chain one and a double crochet. That's all our V stitches are. Then we're going to um, skip two stitches, one, two, and make a V stitch. So that's what the entire uh, row uh, side is. Skipping two, then working a V stitch into that next stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet into that next stitch. Skip two, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So you want to do that all the way along until you get to the end and you'll have 13 V stitches or 14 if you wanted to include the corner. So work that all the way along and you will have finished in the last or the third last stitch, skipping two and then you'll, work, you'll make that next one in the corner. So let's zip along so you can see what I mean instead of just letting my words to the talking. So chaining one, double crochet, chaining one, skipping two. So we're going to work into that third stitch with our V stitch. And skipping two into that third stitch. <coughs> Excuse me. And so on. One, two, into the third. Skipping two into the third. There we go. One, two into the third. <clears throat> oh dear. Come here, the yarn. Okay. So we're just about at the end of this side. So skipping two, working into that third. And we're going to skip two and work into that third, which is also the third last single crochet. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. And then you skip two and then you work into that corner. Okay, so that is what our repeat looks like. All the way along there. So when I count um, in between the ones made in the corner, I just make sure that there are 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Because we need to have 13 for the next round. So work that along, making a V stitch in the chain two space, not skipping anything and making one into the next stitch, then skipping two, the next stitch, skipping two, and then in the next stitch and so on. And we'll be back in a minute. So I'm just finishing off, if I can grab my yarn, um, the last side here with our V stitches. Now skipping two and into that last stitch available. So now that we're back here, we are going to join to the third chain with a slip stitch. One, two, three which is our replacement for our double crochet. So that is our square at the moment. It's kind of around the back off again, but that's okay. Oops, sorry, I hit the head on the stand again. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's there. Um, so we are now going to make round number 18, 18, 18. Yes, because we have a total of 56 V stitches in round 17. So this is the last round worked in our mustard. I recommend having a decent amount of yarn ready for this round because it is a bit of a yarn eater because it's our shell stitches. So just prepare yourself and get a nice little bunch ready. So I just do that and then if I don't have my insert if I don't have my ball wound on like a cake I can't even think what I'm trying to say right now okay <laughs> let's begin round I think I just said was 18 we're going to slip stitch to that first chain one space 
of the first V stitch. Oh, I'm just going to move over one second. Sorry, I hit, that, hit my head again, just so that I'm in the middle. So that's a bit easier. So now we're going to chain three, which counts as our first double crochet in this round, because this one is like a shell alternate round. Then we're going to make six more double crochets into this ring. Ah, uh, sorry, into this chain one space. So we've got three, we're going to make seven stitches all together. Four, five, six, and seven. I do recommend counting your shell stitches frequently because they're very important for future rounds. Okay, so now that we've got our seven in here, we're going to skip our two stitches. We're not actually working into any stitch in this round. We're working into the chain spaces only. So into the next chain one space, we're going to make a single crochet. And then working into the next chain one space, we're doing our seven double crochet or the shell part of this stitch. And that is it. That's all we're doing is seven double crochets in one chain one space and then a single crochet in the other. So super easy to do this round. Nice and, well, I won't say quick because there's a fair few shell stitches to make, but double check your stitch count. So just like that, single in the next chain one space and then seven doubles in the next chain one space. And because in the corners is the same V stitch as what's in or on the sides, you just repeat that all the way around. It doesn't matter if you're at a corner or not. So I'll see you in a minute when I'm back to the start. So remember, seven doubles in the one chain space, one, two, three, and then skipping the two stitches and a single in the next, skipping two, then seven. So just this and this all the way around. I'll be back in a minute. See you soon. Four five, six, and yes, we did it. Seven. Oof. I mean, it doesn't take that long, but compared to other rounds, it just feels like it goes forever. So do your join on this round. <laughs> Yay. Good riddance. Round number 18. You might look pretty. Sometimes you feel like you take forever. Okay, I'm attempting to weave in my ends. Yep. So cut your yarn and you can now get up and do a happy dance because you don't have to do any more shell stitches for this square. Oh my gosh, isn't it just pretty? I know you'd be biased, but I just think it looks so pretty. Yippee! Okay, so the stitch count for this round was 196 double crochets and 28 single crochets. So get ready to do round number 19. Woohoo! Well done. Okie dokie doodle dum. So we're beginning round number 19 using our colour 4, which is our gold. And so you are making a standing front post single crochet around any single crochet. So you can choose any one to work around. I'm just going to zoom in. Um, so let's just go, just to prove to you that you can choose any one, we'll go this one. And so we're going to make a front post single crochet. So without the slip knot, because I'm only using this color once. From front to back to front around that single, pull up <coughs> a loop, excuse me. Yarn over and pull through. Ta-da! So this round consists of single crochets. Oh, duh. Front post single crochets around the singles. And then back post half doubles around all the doubles. So we're going to make seven or back post seven. So yarn over, insert from back to front to back around the next seven stitches. So it's a bit of a break from a lot of movement in the previous round for your little wrists, which is nice. So just back posting and half doubling. 
like so. One more. And then you're back to the start of the repeat. So front post single from front to back to front. Pick up your loop, yarn over and pull through two. And that is it. It's such a simple little round. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and do another one and then I'll continue on. And you can either pause the video or make along with me. So back post half doubles around each double crochet, like so. And then a front post single around the single. There we go. So continue that all the way around. I shall be back in a few minutes and I'll see you soon. So we're just finishing off round number 19. Oops. Attempting to. And now I can't decide if I like this round more or the other round more because I felt like this one just felt like it kept going forever. But that's okay. Wait till you see how this round looks after you finish it. Okay, so just finishing off the last back post half double stitches. Yay! <laughs> I'd love to know what you're going to make with your squares if you are going to make the complete blanket which I will be making. It's going to be 16 squares all together. Okay, so now that I've finished that, we do our invisible join. Now the fun begins. So in round 19, I'll zoom out a smidgen, we made 196 back post half doubles. But wasn't it worth it? and 28 front post singles. So now we get to play with our, are you ready for it? I love the look of this stitch. Our front post treble five clusters. These pretty little ones. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Okay, so now we're up to round number 20, where we're using colour number 3. And we are working with our front post treble 5 cluster stitches. And we'll begin that in the first front post single around a corner, or after a corner. So you find your corner, obviously, it's this one or this one. And it's the first front post after that. So we're going to make our starting front post treble cluster in or around that stitch. So I've got my yarn with a slip knot ready. I'm just going to zoom in for you. Now we're going to work into the third loop except when we're making our front post five treble clusters. So when we're doing our stitches into the round 19 we'll be making those into the third loops but that's okay because half doubles any sort of half doubles have a really nice third loop. So grab your yarn, find that front post stitch. So we're going to yarn over twice, insert from front to back to front again, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over twice, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Three more times we get our five stitches on the hook like so and last one now sometimes you will struggle uh, with getting enough room on your hook but it'll fit it's just getting used to that uh, feeling of having many stitches on your hook so we've got six loops on our hook because of that slip knot. So we're going to yarn over and pull through all, all six. And so when we do our next stitch that's what gives it that little pop, like pretty little bobble look. Okay, fun time. So now we're going to work into the back post half doubles. So we're going to skip that first one. So find that first one. It's a bit tricky because of all these 
uh, cluster, stitches, cluster stitches in the way. So I'm going to skip that first one and then we're going to make a half double into the next one. So when we do our third loops, just remember that I'll come a bit closer. This is our front loop here, there. This is our back loop, there, our back loop. And then this here is our third loop, okay? So a half double into the third loop of the next stitch, remembering to skip that first one. And then single crochet into the next three back loops. And then making a half double into the next back loop. Skipping first and seventh back post half doubles. So we're only working in the middle five, okay? And we are not chaining in between. We're going to make another five post front, a five post, a front post treble five cluster. Yarning over twice, insert from back, from front to back to front again. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Doing this four more times. You might find that your work may end up facing you a little bit different than normal. Just depends on how you hold your hook and work these front post cluster stitches. Okay, so one more, yarn over twice, insert from front to back to front. They will all fit on there, don't worry. Oh, well that one didn't like me. So get back there. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're back to our yarn over and pull through six. Skipping that first back post half double, finding the third loop of the next one, making a half double in that, and then single in the next three third loops, and then another half double. So that is like, essentially it's squaring back up because obviously our rounds from previous are like scallops. Okay, so remember to skip the first and last back post half double and to make your five treble clusters around that front post single crochet. This round is a little bit tedious. It's not too bad. You'll get the feel for doing these clusters. And I love the texture to the, to the uh, pattern that they bring. Oh, does that sound right? Yeah. It's kind of hard to think and speak and crochet at the same time sometimes. <laughs> okay, yarn over, pull through all six. Skipping that first one. And we're making a half double in the back loop of the next one. Oh, third loop. Yeah, third loop, Emily single in the next three third loops and then a half double in the next so continue that along i'm going to stop over here in a minute and then we'll get back to cornering or squaring that corner up okay so i'm just making that last front post five treble cluster together before the corner just thought i'd show you in there okay so it's a little bit different to obviously the flat parts so yarn over pull through all six just like normal so instead of making three single chains three single chain three single crochets we're going to skip the first one make a half double in the next one like normal that's fine then we're going to make a double in the next stitch and then a treble in the next back loop third loop then a chain three and then a treble back into that same uh, back loop third loop like so then we're making a double crochet into the third loop of the next one 
when it wants to work and then a half double back into the next one remembering to skip the first and the seventh so that's basically all that our corner is pretty straightforward nice and straight throughout the, the the main part the main side and then we're just cornering it back up so coming back around again we're not skipping anything making our front post five or treble five cluster like so around the front post single crochet so this is the first stitch after the corner space or the corner uh, the corner uh. okay oh, we didn't like that one three four and five with our six on there yarn over pull through all six skipping that first one again and making that half double back into that third loop of the next stitch single in the next three third loops one two three and a half double in the next one and so forth keep them there so continue that around just paying particular attention to when you get to that last front post before the corner because I've gone around and I've just kept going. I was like, oh, did I do that? Don't make that mistake because no one likes brogging. All right, I'll see you back here soon. Okay, so snip that one away. Let's just weave in the ends because from now on in, it's basically just double crochets and single crochets towards the end. I can see the finish line. That checkered flag is pulling a face at me, <laughs> saying, you're almost here, not quite yet. Okay, so we won't worry about weaving that in perfect for now, but I am going to zoom out so you can see how pretty this round is. Now you'll still notice that we're not quite there we go. You're not quite there with square. It's almost pretty square. So now, yay, we did it. Good job. Um, our stitch count for that one was 28 front post five treble clusters, 72 single crochets into the third loop, 56 half double crochets into the third loop, eight double crochets into the third loop, and eight trebles into the third loop and four chain three spaces slash corners so well done good on you for getting this far it's kind of all downhill okay so we have four rounds left hang in there we're almost there you've done so well to get this far we're going to be using round 21 with color number two and we're going to start in any chain three corner space with two double crochets now because I'm using color two for the next round as well I've got my slip knot on my hook zoom in a little bit more okay so two double crochets in the chain three space chaining two and two double crochets all right easy peasy so next we're going to make a double crochet in the next three like so, one, two, and three. Then I did tell a little furphy, we've got to do a couple of front post stitches on this round, but that's okay. So we're going to make a front post double around the first cluster after a corner. So yarn over, insert from front to back to front, pull up a ute, pull up a ute, pull up a loop. We've got youth here in this house okay so we've done that one we're going to make a double crochet in the next two stitches one two and then half double in the next three so we're kind of just evening out that square a little bit more in the corners 
one, two, three, hence why those stitches are a little bit different. Okie dokie, now the repeat comes in, which is good, it's what we want. So we're going to make a front post half double just around those clusters. So from that gap to that gap, pull up your loop and then pull through all three. And then we're just half doubling, half double crocheting into the next five. So we're going to do that five or four times. Yeah. The five. And then front post, half double around there again. So there. One, two, three, four, five. See how nice and easy this round is. It's good. Front post half double and then a half double in the next five, two, three, four, four, four and five. And again, front post half double around the cluster. And then we've got our five half doubles. One, two, three, four, and five, like so. Now we've done that four times. One, two, three, and four. So now we're going to make a front post double around this cluster. Um, front post uh, half double, yeah. And then HDC in the next three, so half double in the next three. So remember we're bringing the, the corners of the square up a little bit more. Hence the funny stitches. One half double, two half double, three half double. And then we've got two doubles, bringing it out further and further. And then we've got our front post double around the next cluster. And then doubles in the next three stitches. Oh, I ain't gonna get in there. Get in that stitch. One, two, and three. And now we're back to our repeat. So how good was that? That side was lovely. So two doubles in the chain three corner separated by chain two and two more doubles. Then we make our double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. And then we make a front post double around the cluster. Yarn over insert, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then a double in the next two stitches. One, two, and then a half double in the next three. Just making a square, more square. And then the inner repeat begins where you've got your front post half double around the cluster and then half double in the next five. So do that four times all together and then you get back to your corner. I shall see you soon. Okay, so we're just finishing off this round with our half double in the next three, our double in the next two, one, two, making that front post double around that cluster and a double in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Join to that first double crochet with a slip stitch and take a moment to look how beautiful your square is turning into. All right, so at the end of that round, you will have 56 double crochets, 104 half double crochets, 20, um, where am I? 
20 front post half double crochets, eight front post double crochets, and four chain two spaces. So we're gonna start round 22 with the same color in a minute. So we get started. Okay, so we're going to start round 22, it's the third last round. Just going to slip stitch to the chain two space. One, two, like so. Chaining three counts as a double, and then we're going to make another double into that chain two corner. Going to chain two, and then make two more double crochets into that same chain space. Then the easy part begins. All you're gonna do now is crochet double crochets in the next 47 stitches. So that's the whole side, all the way along until you get to your chain two corner where you do two doubles, a chain two, and a two double. Super easy round. I'll see you when you get back to here because you don't really need me for this one. I'll see you soon. So now you're at the end of round number 22. Just double crochet all the way along. And then you're going to join with an invisible join uh, to that second stitch. Super duper. So now round 22 is completed. You have a total of 204 double crochets and two chain two corners. We're going to work our very final two rounds using our first color um, lipstick. Super duper easy. We're going to start with a slip knot on our hook and beginning, a bit, a beginning again in that chain two point, making two double crochets in the chain two space, like so, chaining two and then two double crochets back in that chain two space. Then you're going to work in the next 40, 51, can't count, 51 stitches, but you're going to work in that third loop. So just double crocheting into that third loop all the way along until you get to your corners where you do two doubles, chain two and two doubles. Third loop doubles, two chain, two doubles, two chain, two doubles. See you soon. So we're just finishing off round 23 with a double crochet in the last few third loops and then we're going to join to the top of the chain three oh sorry it's a standing stitch <laughs> to the first DC made with a slip stitch like so then that's it for round 23 so we've got a total of 220 double crochets and four chain two spaces we're on the very final stretch now where we will um, just chain one to get us up to that height going to make a single crochet in the next two stitches and then in the chain two points we're going to make a single crochet chain two a single back in there and then all you do is just work a single crochet in each of the next stitches along until you get to your chain two corner where you do that single crochet chain two single crochet again so hang in there you're almost done just keep on keeping on and let's finish this square together and be so excited to have it done so just keep on going around single crochet in each stitch single crochet chain two single crochet in your corner i'll see you back here once i've joined Okay, so I finished that round off and I just joined with an invisible join and you're done. That is amazing. You are so, I just want to give you an applause. Well done for getting this far and completing your first square. So the stitch count for this one is 228 single crochets and four chain two spaces. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit more so you can see and a little bit more. There we go. So that is your beautiful square. Well done. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I cannot wait to see what you make with this square and send through all your photos, tag me in your posts. Make sure you like, subscribe 
and hit that notification bell on my YouTube channel because I will be making more uh, patterns in the future. I've got to go and finish the rest of my squares so that I can show you how we are going to join them together. So let's just have a look quickly before I go. Look how cool they look together. So we're going to join them together and then um, a border around them. So I'm making 16 squares. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. And until next time, happy hooking.